We're told the Earth needs another hundred years to become survivable again. Prisoner 319, hold out your right arm. No, it's not my time. I don't turn 18 for another Come month. On. No! Hey. You're being sent to the ground. All 100 of you. I'd like to start by asking for people who haven't seen the 100 for a little bit of background to the storyline of the show. Let's go for the first, maybe, half of season one to avoid spoilers. It's meant to be about 100 years after a nuclear war has sort of made the Earth unlivable. So everyone's been living in space um, for several generations on a sort of conglomerated space station. But the resources in the space station are running out, so they have to send people back to Earth to see if they can live there again because they can't live on the Ark anymore. So they send 100 young people down, and they decide that those hundred young people should be the prisoner population because they're sort of expendable. Um, and so we each play one of the hundred. So you're, you're the rebels. Eliza plays Clark, who is in prison for? Treason, essentially, yeah. Which um, sounds bad. Shrug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no big deal. Um, which sounds bad, but in fact she's she's been locked up for, for the, the wrong reasons. Yeah, because the politics on the Ark are complicated. Mm. Uh, they're sort of warring factions, parties. Mm. You guys didn't spend a lot of time on the Ark, I suppose, just the pilot um, before you were very quickly shipped down to um, mm. the Earth. What was this, the Ark set like? Um, it was really cool. Uh, I think our set designers did a great job of it. Um, uh, I mean, the, the, we've got, uh, on our lot, we've got like three connecting studios and one of them was entirely arc sets. Um, so you could, you could get lost in there. There's lots of little kind of rooms and hallways and um, it's, it's really fun. So in the pilot, the scene where Clark is uh, removed from her cell, mm. um, prisoner number, that scene? Yep. Was that CG or where was that shot? Because that's a big interior with all these mm. cells and stuff. Yeah, yeah that was, um, we had the, the hallway, um, three prison cells, one in the middle, which and was mine. And the rest mine, was painted in? And the rest was green screen. Oh, so wow. all of uh, that, that rail that I look over, it's just green screen. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but uh, most of the sets were like relatively small interior yeah. things. Mm. But that's, then, that was the only one I could think of that was like, uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive that? looking, and then they dump you in a jungle, so there's that. Yeah. yeah, which was great. On that note, how long each morning do you guys spend dirting up, or do they just tell you not to shower? For, for you guys, I think um, it was pretty easy, right? Just some some sweat and some mud. <laughs> for us guys. So, for, you just like, get on the, the treadmill for like 10 show. minutes. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, we worked pretty long hours. Sometimes you wouldn't like necessarily have gotten all of the muck off you before arriving mm. at work the next day. I went through airport security one time with fake blood all over my hands, which was weird. Yeah. Oh, that's I, not uh, good. I just had to go. <laughs> yeah. I went, uh, I, I went, after shooting a long day, I had blood everywhere. Didn't really think about it. Popped into the 7-Eleven, um, went to pay for some gum, and the guy was like, are you okay? I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm fine. It's, mm. happens like, all I'm the time. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Um, it did, it happened quite often. Gum, huh? Airport security, yeah, a likely story. Mm -hmm. um, airport security would have been much worse though, I'm assuming. Well, <laughs> surprisingly, nobody said anything. Oh, that's good. What? Yeah, it wasn't until I had like landed where I was going that I noticed really. Yeah, right. Huh, fair enough. Lucky. Because I like was totally oblivious <laughs> to my... Enemy. You probably walked through in the scooter like, do not mess with him. Yeah. Don't <laughs> yeah. mess with him. <laughs> shows like this get a huge following, especially online. How do you deal with the fans? Uh, yeah, online, it's, it's, it's been an educational. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I was never it. much of a Twitter person um, beforehand. You've you got to be now. You do. It's, it's I mean, it's, it's a, a tweeter. Yeah, a tweeter. I'd ne I was never a tweeter before. Um, but it's a powerful medium and it's, um, it's cool. You get to you instantly see what your fa like fans' reactions are. Sometimes good, sometimes bad, um, and you can connect with them, which makes them feel a part of this whole thing. And it's I think that's 
that's pretty cool, really. So for people excited about the show, and people who want to see the show but maybe aren't sure what they're investing in, um, what would you say to them that they can expect from the 100? Um, I think people can expect um, a lot of uh, adventure, a lot of action, also some really great character stories, you know. Um, and uh, I mean, a lot of twists and turns as well. It's certainly a, 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 a grittier um, show than, than, than a lot out there, and uh, I think people are going to enjoy that. Think this is a game? We won't survive here on our own. See you on the other side.